Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate video and audio for editing in Reaper. Now, have a project in front of me here where I've already set up a video window up here and my arrangement window down here. This way we can see our video very clearly up here. So I want to import a video file and an audio file to go with it. So I'm going to go to my hard drive and see the files right here. Here's a video file and here's some music I want to add to it. But there's one problem with this file. It already has audio on it, which we don't want to use. We want to replace it. Let's first import the video. Drag it in to the arrangement window and drop it, and it shows up right here. Let's see it and hear it. So like I said, we just want to use the video from this and not the audio. So we need to remove the music or just not use it. So what we can't do is just mute the track because that's also going to mute the video. And we also can't mute the item. If we right click, go to item settings and choose mute. That's also going to mute the audio and the video. So that's not going to work either. What we can do is turn down the volume on our track all the way. And now we're just going to see the video and not hear the audio. But there's one problem with this. We're still going to see our waveform on the track, which can make it a bit confusing, as we're not going to be using this audio. Another thing we could do is go to the routing and turn off the master parent send. And once again, we're just going to see our video and not hear the audio or the music. But again, we're still seeing our waveform and the levels on our meter. And we don't want to do that. So what we can do is move our cursor to the top of the waveform. Notice how the cursor changes and drag down the volume of this item all the way to the bottom. And now we're not going to hear the music and we're also not going to see the waveform. So we're just going to see our video. But there's one other way to do this that's my favorite. Just right click in the video and choose video item properties. And then choose over here, ignore audio. And now we're not going to see a waveform or the meters move over here. But we're still going to see our video. So we can still edit our video completely separately from our audio or our music. So now we can import a separate music file to go with this. So let's go back to our hard drive and let's choose the music file. Again, drag it in just below the other one and drop it. Now we have this music file going with the video. So now we could edit our video completely separately from the audio or the music. We can go really close and cut the video or split it, move this over to create an edit on the downbeat like this. Do another one right here, move it over. And just do this for each section of our song and create different edits to go with our music. So in this way, we can work with our video and audio completely separately. But let's say we wanted to keep 
the original audio, but just edit it separately from the video. Let's start over. Let's go back to our hard drive and drag in the video once again. And drop it. Now, once again, we have our video and our audio in one file on one track. Let's say we want to edit our video completely separately from the audio. Maybe change the music or the mix or add new things to it. We we'll just edit the video, creating separate edits to go with the music. We could do that as well. Let's just duplicate this track, duplicate tracks. Then once again, we'll right click up here, video item properties, and ignore the audio. And that's just gonna ignore the audio on this track, the lower track, which is where the video is coming from. Let's rename it video. Let's move it to the top and name this one music. So this track is just gonna play back our video. But this track is still gonna play back both, our video and the audio. So we need to separate the video from the audio on this track. And we could do that just by gluing the item. Right click it, choose glue items, and the Reaper converted it to a WAV file. As we can see right here, it was an MP4, but now it's just a WAV. So it glued it and just created an audio file. So this track is our audio. And this track is our video. So now we could edit them completely separately. Let's say we want to start the music a bit later. Put an edit right here by splitting it. Do the same right here. Split it, move it over. Maybe for this section, we could fade out and fade in just the video, split it, create a fade out right here and a fade in right here. But to make this work, we'll put a plugin on the effects using the video processor. And we can use the preset item fades effect video. And now this fade out and fade in is going to work for our video like this. Pretty cool. And just like that, we can completely edit our video and our audio separately, either using different music or the same music or audio from our video file. So that's pretty much it. That's how to separate video and audio for editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.